sometimes the parents like to overshadow the kid. I mean, take us through your relationship with him. How did he navigate you being such a top prospect and him being proud yet not overshadowing? Uh, I think for my father, just, you know, he understood that uh, I loved the game. I loved it tremendously, and it was a true love I had for the game, you know, something that he let me organically grow over time. So uh, he was just extremely proud that I chased my dreams and I was just continuing to fight to achieve my goals. And uh, for him, I think that he was just happy that, uh, you know, he's seeing his son do so well in the world and uh, just wanted uh, to share the moment with me, obviously, but also remember that it's always my moment and uh, just be there for support. Yeah, I mean, he was never said, my kid's going to be the number one draft pick. My kid's better than your kid. In fact, it seems like on the outside, you really accomplished all those goals that we were even talking about three and a half years ago. What's been the sweetest moment from that journey, from that high school senior we saw to now? I think it, uh, it, had, to be, it had to be June 25th. I mean, just to make it to the NBA and be the number one pick is a huge honor. It's a huge blessing. And to have the opportunity to play for the Minnesota Timberwolves is a... Uh, is a dream come true. I, I, I'm truly blessed with this opportunity to play here in such a great city with such great fans and um, to just see my dreams come true from a little boy wanting to be in the NBA, watching NBA TV all the time, watching NBA games, and now to be part of the NBA game is, a, is truly a, it's a mind-blowing experience. And uh, just to think about, you know, I was just a kid in Piscataway having hoop dreams and now I'm living them.